Hey guys, Dr. Christopher Hood from Hood Chiropractic. I'm talking this month about heart health month, lowering blood pressure naturally. You guys are sweating it out, right? Quick question, sweating it out now after the last video, you're doing the exercise, you're getting up in the morning, getting your blood pumping, and I'm getting all these questions, and the big question I'm getting from most people is, okay, I'm trying to follow what your plan is, I'm, I'm getting the inflammation out of my diet, I'm using the omega fats, what the heck do I eat? You know, that should be the title, what the heck do I eat? So, what the heck do I eat? The majority of your diet, if you're going to lower the inflammation in your body, lower your blood pressure naturally, you are going to eat 60 to 80 percent of your diet as green leafy vegetables. So 60 to 80 percent, the bulk of your meals, I know, I don't want to eat a salad for breakfast, but just hear me out. In a day, out of 100% of the food you eat in a day, 60 to 80% of that should be green leafy vegetables. The darker the green, the better. Um, and you know what? For those of you guys who are, have trouble with green food, like, hey, if it's green, I don't want to eat it. Vegetables, right? Carrots, cauliflower, I don't care. Just start eating veggies. The majority of that should be there. And then there should be lean cuts of meat or protein in there. And a lot of people are against red meat. If it's grass-fed beef, it has more omega fats than fish does. So there's a tidbit for you. So grass-fed beef. Uh, more omega fats than fish. We talked about omega fats lowering blood pressure. What's important there? Also, you know, chicken. I stay away from pork. Uh, you know, it's not not because of any other reason. We can get into that in, in, into an immune system uh, video. But for now, chicken, uh, omega uh, omega fats uh, full of grass fed beef, 60 to 80 percent green leafy vegetables. One last thing I probably should talk about when it comes to cardiovascular disease is the health of your spine, particularly at the base of your neck. So just to wrap this up. You're not going to be as healthy as you could be or you should be unless you have a properly functioning spine. You could actually go to a spine, which is one of the most prestigious medical journals, and look up posture and heart disease, and they'll actually show you studies where people, forgive me for a second, that develop this forward head posture, you know, old age nursing home posture, or a posture that's forward from texting, you're watching this probably on your phone, sorry, I'm pausing it for you, or typing on a computer. Actually, as your, as your head shifts forward, it begins to put pressure on the nerves at the base of your neck, which actually supply heart function. You can go to WebMD and type in chiropractic and blood pressure, and it'll show you how aligning the top couple bones in the neck and the bottom bones in the neck actually lower blood pressure better than a double combo of beta blockers. There's actually a research study done at the University of Chicago's medical school. So I can't, since I'm a chiropractor, I can't not talk about lowering blood pressure naturally without uh, mentioning the landmark study at the University of Chicago's med school along with WebMD that have shown now, proven in research, that correcting your posture and correcting misalignments in your spine lower blood pressure because it affects how your brain communicates with the heart. So look that up. We'll, we'll give you a reference on, on the video screen for this too. So we've talked about a lot of things this month. We've talked about inflammation diets, lowering the inflammation. We've talked about um, you know the omega fats, how to exercise properly what the bulks of the food should be, and then finally today, not only the vegetables, but getting a healthy spine. I always say a healthy spine is a healthy you, because we want to get that brain-body connection moving so your body able, uh, is able to function at peak potential. So if you're watching this video, please share it with your friends, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, uh, uh, you can, what is it, follow us on um, Google Plus or YouTube, subscribe to those channels. If you like these videos, we're going to bring more content. I'm Dr. Christopher Hood. It's always a pleasure to share with you guys because the idea behind these videos is you to share these with your friends so that people you love and care about can begin to reverse the disease in their body and build strong, healthy, natural bodies the way God intended. So it's all good in the hood. I'm Dr. Christopher Hood. God bless you guys and we'll talk again soon.